Principles of Learning by Horn and Pine, 1990 Introduction The learning of our students is our foremost concern. By knowing some principles on how learning takes place, we will be guided on how to teach. Principle of Learning The first principle is Learning is an experience which occurs inside the learner and is activated by the learner. The process of learning is primarily controlled by the learner and not by the teacher or group leaders. Changes in perceptions and behavior are mere products of human meaning and perceived rather than any forces exerted upon the individual. Learning is not only a function of what a teacher does too, or provides for a learner. More significantly, learning has to do with something which happens in the unique world of the learner. It flourishes in a situation in which teaching is seen as facilitating process that assist people to explore and discover the personal meaning of events for them. Second principle, learning is the discovery of the personal meaning and relevance of ideas. Students more readily internalized and implemented concepts and ideas which are relevant to their needs and problems. Learning is a process which requires the exploration of ideas in relation to self and community so that people can determine what their needs are. Within broad pragmatic boundaries, what is relevant and meaningful is decided by the learner and must be discovered by the learner. It is necessary that teacher relates lesson to the needs, interests, and problems of the learners. Third principle, learning. Behavioral change is a consequence of experience. People become responsible when they have really assumed responsibility. They become independent when they have experienced independent behavior. They become able when they have experienced success. They begin to feel important when they are important to somebody. They feel like when someone likes them. People do not change their behavior merely because someone tells them to do so or tells them how to change. Experiential learning makes use of direct as well as vicarious experiences. We have not experienced everything in order to learn. We learn from other people's experiences too. Good as well as not so good experiences. The fourth principle. Learning is a cooperative and collaborative process. Cooperation foster learning. Two heads are better than one. People enjoy functioning independently, but they also enjoy functioning interdependently. The interactive process appears and creativity. Cooperative approaches are enabling. Through such approaches, People learn to define goals, to plan to interact, and to try group arrangement in problem solving. Teachers should make use more of cooperative and collaborative approaches. This way students are thought to live together and learn interdependently. Learning is an evolutionary process, the fifth principle. Behavioral change requires time and patience. When quick changes in a behavior are demanded, we often resort to highly structured procedures through which we attempt to impose learning. Whether such learning is lasting and meaningful to the learner, it is doubtful. Implicit in all the principles and conditions for learning is an evolutionary model of learning. Learning situations characterized by free and open communication 
confrontation, acceptance, respect, the right to make mistakes, self-revelation, cooperation, and collaboration and beauty. Shared evaluation, active and personal involvement, freedom from threat, and trust in the self are evolutionary in nature. Change takes time. The sixth principles of learning. Learning is sometimes a painful process. Behavioral change often calls for giving up the old and comfortable ways of believing, thinking, and valuing. It is not easy to discard familiar ways of doing things and incorporate new behavior. If growth is to occur, pain is often necessary. However, the pain of breaking away from the old and the comfortable is usually followed by appreciation and pleasure in the discovery of an evolving idea. The seventh principle of learning. One of the richest resources of learning is the learner himself. In a day and age when so much emphasis is being placed upon instructional media, books, and speaker as resources for learning, we tend to overlook perhaps the richest source of all, the learner himself. Each individual has accumulation of experiences, ideas, feelings, and attitude which comprise a rich vein of material for problem solving and learning. The eighth principle of learning. The process of learning is emotional as well as intellectual. Learning is affected by the total state of individual. People are feeling beings as well as thinking beings. And when their feelings and thoughts are harmony learning is maximized. To create the optimal condition, a group for learning to occur, people must come before purpose. The ninth principle of learning. The process of problem solving and learning are highly unique and individual. Each person has his own unique styles of learning and solving problems. Some personal styles of learning and problems are highly effective, other styles are not as effective, and still other may be ineffective. As people become more aware of how they learned and solve problems and become exposed to alternative models used by other people, they become or they can be employed more effectively. Principles of Learning by Horn and Pine, 1990. The Nine Principle. First, learning is an experience which occurs inside the learner and is activated by the learner. Learning is the discovery of the personal meaning and relevance of ideas. Third, Learning, behavioral change, is a consequence of experience. Fourth, learning is a cooperative and collaborative process. Fifth, learning is an evolutionary process. Sixth, learning is sometimes a painful process. Seventh, one of the richest resources of learning is the learner himself. Eight, the process of the process of learning is emotional as well as intellectual. Ninth, the process of problem solving and learning are highly unique and individual. That's the end of our reading about principles of learning, horn and pine.